Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and welcome to this series of short podcasts by Greenhouse Sensation that will focus on some exciting updates from our greenhouse. We will take a deep dive into some of the amazing growing techniques we undertake and some unique variety of plants we grow, such as tomatoes, chilies, sweet peppers, as well as the odd tropical like bananas and ginger. To be sure you don't miss out, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and share this video so that your fellow growers can also tune in. With that said, let's get into today's episode. Hello Paul. Hello. Thanks for joining us again today for episode 4 of the Greenhouse Sensation podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking a bit about wick-based systems. So wick systems refer to the fact that these systems take advantage of the action of wicking to feed a water-based nutrient solution to the roots of plants. So Paul, I have a few questions to ask today. Why are wick-based systems effective in general? First of all, the capillary matting that's used to, to wick up the nutrient so- solution to the plant root zone, it gives you the opportunity to use a very balanced fertiliser dissolved in the water so the plants always have access to both water and nutrients and they're, they're never going to dry out so they're, they're always going to have that that availability of water and nutrients to the root zone. Oh, okay so how would you say wick based systems are different to your normal hand watering? Well with wick systems it, it's still advisable to occasionally water from from above um, just like normal hand watering systems, but you, you've, you're safe in the knowledge that uh, if, if you don't get to them and you can't water them from above, they've still got access to nutrients and water, even when, you say, you go on holiday and you, and you don't have the the opportunity to water them from above. So it keeps, keeps your plants watered when you're not there to hand water them. I mean, why are plants more productive in a wick-based system as a result of having the availability to feed all the time? Well, when you hand water a plant, um, plants aren't always actively taking up water and nutrients. So if you're hand watering, you might come along to water your plant. And at that time, it's not taking up water and it all runs off and it's gone. Half an hour later, the plant wants to take up water and it's not there. Mm. So with uh, that permanent availability, uh, the, the plant, when it decides to take up water, the water's there for it to take up. I mean, we use a few wick-based systems in our greenhouse, and we have done for many years, but um, what kind of improvement in results should people be able to see from using a wick-based system gradually over time? Generally, you'll you'll get at least double the growth rate, Um, so your plants will grow around twice as fast, Uh, the stems will be twice as thick, the leaves will be twice as big, and you should get about double the yield in a a wick-based system, compared to, say, a grow bag or just a plant. Um, grown in a, a pot of um, standard multi-purpose compost. I mean, if we compare a wick-based system to, say, your NFT or, or for Greenhouse Sensation, a Vivigrow hydroponic planter, it obviously won't be as productive, but the good thing about wick systems are they're simple, they're effective, and they're something that people shouldn't be afraid of. I mean, we highly suggest that our listeners check out a wide range of wick-based self-watering planters that we sell, such as the Quad Grow, the Duo Grow and the Chili Grow, as these are some of the most popular products and are extremely user-friendly and, as you just say, Paul, help generate bumper crops twice the size in many circumstances. But, um, no, that's, that's really useful information, Paul, and I'm sure our customers will, uh, will certainly uh, see that of value. But um, thanks again for your time, and uh, we'll speak again in a future episode. You're welcome. Thank you everyone for listening to episode 4 of the Greenhouse Sensation podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like us to answer any questions you may have in a future episode, please also let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Spotify for all the latest episodes. See you next time.